for five minutes. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to pick up a little bit where the chairman left off, no surprise. Uh, yes, sir, it's you. Uh, you said there wasn't contracted for a report. Who determines when you put the word report onto a PowerPoint stack? I know that terms are loose, but this thing purports to be a report in hard printing, right? Yes, yes. But it's not a report. It is the report to the extent that one exists for this study by the Defense Business Board, and the answer as to who owns that is the Defense Business Board owns that product, um, okay. and we provide support, administrative support to the board when they do that. Okay. The information from McKinsey was, was government information that we would provide to the Defense Business Board, as we would to a Defense Science Board or anybody else. Okay. Well, let me go to the Chairman for a second. Uh, Look, we're, this is a new era, uh, and I think we've got to ask some tough questions. Uh, and I, I support this money being used, if I calculate it roughly right as an old Army guy, uh, those 50 brigades would be over 100,000 men we'd be able to add in end strength. That's, that's basically a full rotation, a, a, a whole group of people that don't have to redeploy uh, in a given year if we had that many more in the Army. So this is the difference between Army people finding themselves coming and going back and forth to combat when you look at 50 brigades. I, I didn't focus on the other two branches. I'm not as familiar with them. So, Chairman, let me ask a couple of questions. Uh, one of them was, it was stated that they lost focus. Mr. Uh, Tillotson, I think, said that. How do, you, how do you lose interest in $125 billion once you identify that number? Which of us do you want to answer that question? I, I'm sorry, I, Chairman Bayer, I, Bayer, I thought it, you were the, I'm sorry, I'm two chairmen, but only one has the title underneath there. But I'll take both of you. How do you lose interest once you recognize, even if it's not in a report, but a stack of PowerPoint, how is it you lose interest in saving $125 billion? Bayer, Chairman Bayer, I'd, I'd like you first. Well, m Mr. Chairman, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Issa. We, didn't lose, we don't lose interest in saving money. The board was formed 15 years ago. It's done far more than 100 pieces of work, all of which the, the great sweep of that work is about how the department can do things more efficiently. Okay, let me, let me go through a question then, because obviously this is a little bit like it's an economic 9-11, if you will. Yeah. On 9-11, we didn't connect the dots, so the bad guys bombed our country with our own aircraft. So let's talk about $125 billion. Did you connect the dots between you and the appropriators or any other members of Congress so we would know there's $125 billion in savings in your report, in your non-report, that we could have had? That would have been done under the previous chairman who, had, who served for an additional 90 days after that, after that effort was voted out of the full uh, No, I, the question body. is, did anyone, not you're saying you don't know? Well, this, there is. I, I prefer to defer that to to Chairman Stein at that time. Who Chairman led Stein, those did you did you report to members of Congress who would have been able to reprogram 125 billion if they took advantage of these savings? Well, first of all, I want you know there's a and this is the first time I've heard this the difference between slides and a report. <laughs> but we fully approved a report. That's this. You know, I left after 90 days, and we started to move out to make talked to Congress, and then we were stopped. When okay, who stopped you? Who stopped you from telling Congress there were 100,000 men that could be deployed with this money? To the, best, the, the best I can – and remember, this, these numbers are compounding. So if you save a billion dollar this year, it will be two billion dollars this year. You mean eventually a billion here, a billion there, it adds up to real it money? It's still true? Money. This, this is real money. The thing I want to make sure of, first of all, I will say that – and I want to make this clear. The, this was the first ever that a labor call, the work that McKinsey did was important. It's the first time it was ever done. So I just want to make sure that, that that is said. The second thing is we had full approval and a public hearing on this report. And Ash Carter or, you know, we were told that. But, but I asked you who stopped it. We don't know. It was okay. Just, well, I, let me. I, let, I was. I was asked. Let me ask you a more than rhetorical was, question for I, because I'm going to run out of time. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chairman. Uh, how do we on this side of the dais ensure that never again are there 
tens or hundreds of billions of dollars in savings that the American people are denied because some unknown person in the Department of Defense puts a kibosh on it for whatever reason and Congress doesn't find out about it. How do we stop that from happening? What law do we have to pass to guarantee the transparency to that gentleman so that it, or to the appropriators or to whoever in Congress so that, in fact, the American people never get a raw deal after good money has been spent to study something that could save the American people or at least save American lives by plussing up our military. So, so I'll say two things. Look, when I left, Mr. Baird took, took over as chairman, and he didn't want to continue this. Uh, Secretary Carter did not want to continue this. So, so, so let, me, let me say the, the second thing here is that we have, and you're a businessman, Congressman, you know, having a great plan is one thing. Having people that can implement it is another. You have one of the great people here that spent a year working on this. And you had McKinsey who spent a year, and the people Scott had involved were as, as good as you can get. What I like to do is get people in the same room with Kenny Klepper, whoever that might be, and that's the one thing that frustrated me, is not the same people we're sitting in a room and they disagree or agree, but we're talking about very important things and nobody will get in the same room. And I'm saying that Dave Tilson is as good a person as you can find. Bob Work is as good a person as you can find. And the antibodies got us. And the antibodies is going gonna, is gonna to kill this country if we don't stop. And we've got to change culture and we've got to make things to happen. Mr. Chairman, I'd only ask uh, that you and the ranking member uh, and on all of us commit ourselves to make sure that it, we never again allow the absence of this body knowing that there is an opportunity uh, on a study like this and, it, and never again allow it to be buried. Uh, certainly this is an example where I wish an IG had brought it to you, Chairman and Ranking Member Cummings, uh, but since they didn't, I, I look forward to working with you on, on mandating that in the future so it can't happen again.